Hello everybody, back again with another episode of Infamous, and oh, I guess we're upgrading my powers, I just upgraded like my lightning bolt. So in this game, you get experience points when you kill things, and when you complete missions. And uh, what you can do with these experience points, is you can level up your powers. All the powers you get in the game, your physical powers, your uh, strength, all that good stuff. The special powers you earn from doing special missions that I'll show you later on in the game. There are uh, missions for being good. You can only do if you're good. And there's missions for being bad that you can only do if you're bad. And so you just have to kind of decide. Um, I mean, you just decide whether you're good or bad, and then you can do those missions. And when you get so many of those done, you unlock a special power. Only for good or only for bad. For example, the bad, um, here's a little trick by the way. If you shoot the enemy, you can suck the energy out of him and get life back. So anyway, one of the bad powers is uh, a continuous line of lightning. Like non-stop lightning. It's pretty cool. And then one of the good ones is a charge, it's a charged up, there's only one power really. But uh, you can improve it on how many missions you do. Only one power for each. And the good one is this charged up lightning bolt, basically. Like, you hold the button and it charges it and it shoots one beam of lightning out and it's really strong. Well, I've, well, it'll take less time and it'll be more powerful as more good missions get done. And for the the, re the dark one, I don't, think, I don't think it's a continuous streak at first. But it eventually turns into just a, a straight, continuous streak of lightning. All, there, there's a difference between all the powers, and look at him. So I dodged all of my moves. Bullshit. Bull shnikes. Bull shnikes. Anyway, uh, yeah, you like my little backpack thing? It's pretty sweet, huh? I actually pre. I actually pre-ordered the uh, Infamous 2 Heroes Edition, and I get one of those little backpacks in it. It's pretty awesome. I can't wait to get it. The Escape Stamping Mission Bridge. starts. The fastest way out of town. That is, if you can get us past those All right, baton, so we're about to, do an, about to get to make we're another, another karma decision. Is they're always they're always so much fun to make. You know, oh, should I? Be evil? Should I be good? Should I blow the world up? Should I save it? Oh, okay. oh I gotta get up here apparently. Gonna have to get past those riot cops if we want out of here. Type time. I fry a couple Call of the guards from inside the crowd, but I can trigger a riot. Help keep the heat off Zeke and me. Of course, that means a lot of innocent people will get the hell kicked out of them. Okay, so basically the good decision is to shoot away from the crowd, the bad decision is to shoot from inside the crowd. I'm doing good, obviously, so I made the good action. And now, I'm going to run up in the crowd, and bro, shockwave of death. Kick. Like I stated before, this is the funnest part, is just, just kicking them is the funnest part, in my opinion. I didn't mean to do that. But when you when you pull off like you saw him do that little flip kick type thing, when you pull one of those off on an enemy, it looks so sweet. It's pretty amazing. And so now I'm just finishing him off for an extra experience point. And here's where stuff goes down. I know this kind of seems kind of tedious, but. It'll be better later on in the game when you can do more than shoot a lightning bolt and a shockwave. So the point now is just to try to survive and uh, yeah, just live, really. live and get through here. What would you do if you had electric powers? Oh yeah, you can blow up turrets too. It's pretty cool. If you had electric powers, what would you do? Would you like try to conquer the universe? 
of a, with electricity, or would you be good and not conquer the universe? What's really awesome about this game is at the very end, after you beat the whole game, you can just screw around after the game. And uh, if you're good, the city looks better and nicer. If you're bad, the city's kind of more on fire and foggier, kind of a reddish fog, and people throw rocks at you all the time. And so you're like, you sons of bitches, and you like shoot them with red lightning. It's a nice sound effect there. I die here. Sad, sad face. Sad panda. I'm gonna die here in a second because I was being very, in, very retarded. I missed with the punch. Look at that. Oh, I'm so ashamed of myself. <sighs> I wanna cry. So now I'm all the way back at this part right here. Just shocking things like crazy. I'm serious. I'm like, no, I'm not dying again. This is not happening twice in a row. And so I took them down and him down and. And now him down. Yay, everyone's dead. It's not when we're all happy, it's when everyone's dead. Oh, you had to drain things as L2, by the way. That's how you drain the energy from crap. And, uh, these little, uh, bead type things, or electric little balls up there, that's your energy, and you can earn more of that by, uh, collecting these things, these earth shard things that are infused with electricity. They were from the blast, and so they're like, you, but a piece of earth. Destroy the turrets. Boom. Um, why don't you guys tell me if you uh, if you like if you like these videos, these type of videos? And I really hope this one's better quality than the last few of them because I don't know. There's, I've never had them look as bad as they looked the other day. It would just surprise me. And Call of Duty videos actually look pretty good, but I don't know. I think I did a pretty bad action there because I shocked like five, five or six good things. And now I'm all in the uh, all in the gray area. I have a hundred percent in this game almost because. To truly 100% it, it would take so long. You have to get all the good missions done and all the bad missions done, which means you'd have to go through both. Which just basically means after you beat the game in one, you'd have to go com do so many actions to go to the opposite side. And, um, cut me down. The gate opened to a wall of razor wire machine guns. Zeke made a break for it. Smashed in the gate to the decontamination unit and fell headlong into the harbor. And I moved faster than I knew I could. I was greeted by name. This FBI agent, Moya, had seen the footage of me at Ground Zero and came here to wait, figuring I'd try to escape, knowing I'd have powers. She explained that before the blast, her husband, John, had been assigned to infiltrate the First Sons a shadowy group working on a project they called the Ray Sphere, a device designed to drain the neuroelectric energy from a group of people and concentrate it into an individual. She'd lost contact with John the night of the blast. Despite all her connections, Moya was losing hope. Yet she'd found me, somehow believing I could be trusted, ready to make me an offer. I go back to the city, find John in the Ray Sphere, and she'll get me out of the quarantine and clear my name. This whole Ray Sphere thing sounds crazy to me. Suddenly I'm a human white socket, so maybe I should cut her some slack. <laughs>